welcome back to my channel so in this session we will be talking about the importance of using variables in power bi so let's first discuss about the theoretical part and then we will get into a demo and look at this particular uh, pros and cons of using variables so uh, variables are helpful in, in order to improve the readability of uh, any given calculation so let's say that in a real time project we would have to work with multiple calculations to arrive at the desired output and therefore when we write such complex uh, calculations at times it would become quite difficult to read the calculation that we have used and it also uh, impact on the overall performance of such complex calculations so in these situations variables would be quite helpful in order to improve the readability of the written calculation and therefore it also helps us to simplify the debugging of the existing issue within a calculated field and the third important uh, uh, part of variable is that it would also help us to reduce the complexity by using this variable and it also therefore uh, improves the performance of the overall calculation so these are the four uh, positive or uh, four uh, advantages of using variables in a power bi so let's see this uh, with a demo and then we'll get back to these four different uh, advantages of using variables in power bi so now uh, let's see that uh, so i've created a calculated field which is based on a measure so as you can see here so this calculation uh, which is based out of a measure has been created using so this measure is trying to calculate the sales year over year growth percentage so in this expression, we have used a lot of uh, expressions and uh, there are some repeated uh, expressions as well being used in this overall calculation. So if you observe here, uh, we are trying to calculate this expression based on the uh, current value minus previous value by divided by the previous value. So the current value is nothing but the current year sales so which would be computed based on the sales value so total sales minus and this expression which you see from calculate till this month this would allow us to calculate the total sales for the previous year and that is based on this parallel period uh, DAX function which would allow us to uh, arrive at that particular uh, period based on the current uh, value or based on the current year so so for example in our data set if you are trying to see that there are four different years like 2018 2019 and 2020 and 2021 for uh, it will try to verify uh, what is the uh, year value that it holds for that respective uh, data and based on that it would try to calculate the previous year sales value so that is how this expression would function so you can see that it is uh, trying to uh, go back to the previous 12 months based on the month and that would arrive at the same year uh, previous year uh, based on the current year and uh, this expression has been used twice in this overall calculation so once uh, in order to uh, get this uh, 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 total period like to uh, evaluate based on the previous value and then we are trying to divide that to get the growth percentage with the previous year value so therefore this calculation has become quite a complex in order to read this or understand what it has been written to achieve the expected output outcome so now what we can do is we'll try to introduce this variables so and then we'll see how that can improvise with the readability and uh, reduction of the complexity so i'll just uh, so in order to uh, define this variable we would use the var uh, definition for the var function and specify the name of this variable like uh, i'll say last year sales is equal to 
and then I would just copy this expression from this uh, below calculation until this one and put that over here. So I am defining the variable name last year sales with this particular expression. And then in order to use this variable, I would have to say return. So when we say return, then uh, we are saying like, okay, by considering this variable within this particular expression, it would uh, return this particular uh, evaluated resultant in our outcome. So now uh, simply we would just need to copy this uh, variable name and replace that in a given expression. So I'll just uh, replace this. So um, now if you see the overall calculation has been reduced and it has uh, helped us to improvise with the readability. So earlier since that uh, lengthier calculation has been written, it was quite complex for me to read and understand what exactly it is trying to evaluate. But now since we have introduced this variable within our calculation, it has reduced the overall complexity of the calculation and it has also uh improvise the readability of the overall calculation so here in this particular example uh, since it is a very small calculation it might not be uh, uh, required to use a variable however in a real-time project we might need to write some complex and lengthier calculations and therefore it is suggested that in in order to improvise that readability and help us to improvise the performance and to debug the calculation in a better way to help uh, to use these variables in those scenarios. Okay, so now let's try to go by the four advantages of the variables that we've discussed earlier and see how that can help us with this. So the first uh, advantage that I've mentioned is about the readability. So as you can see here, now after we've replaced with this uh, variable, it has uh, helped us to understand in a better way. So it has simplified the overall calculation. So in this way, the readability has been improvised. The second advantage is uh, it would help us to simplify the debugging, right? So when you have lengthier calculations, you will not be able to identify where the issue has been uh, um, sorted. So therefore, when you introduce these variables within your calculated fields in that scenario, your debugging process would also be helpful. So you can easily identify where the issue could be related to and therefore you can just uh, adjust those calculations accordingly. The third advantage is reduction of the complexity of your overall calculation. So after we've introduced the variable, as you can see, uh, the overall complexity has been reduced drastically and it has allowed us to understand this in a better way. Okay, and the fourth one, uh, the fourth advantage is improvises the overall performance. So earlier when we had this expression in both these two lines, so Power BI would have to evaluate that expression twice. So which means that it would have to capture or evaluate the previous year uh, sales value here and again in this section again. So which means that for the same calculation, it has to derive uh, the logic two times. And therefore, by uh, replacing that lengthier expression with a variable that we've created, it has reduced this performance by 50% because now it just has to calculate or evaluate this expression once within this variable section and that resultant would be applied within these two areas at one shot. So therefore, the overall performance has been improvised by 50%. So in this way, variables would help us in a reduction of complexity and readability and also improvises the performance of the overall calculation. So this is about variables in Power BI. Thank you.